Well, fellas, getting ready to settle in for the night. Was down here working on the shelter, gonna winterize it. Um, Cause I had it set up for just summer, which allowed a lot of air come through. Needed something a little warmer. This is a Bison uh, 650 long duck down. Uh, first down bag I've ever owned. It's the East Hills Outdoors. East Hills Outdoors. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, let me tell you what I like about this thing. Uh, number one, you get a compression sack, and that compression sack actually has a clip on it, so I'm not having to try to maneuver all the different straps. That makes things easy. They also have a storage bag for it, a mesh storage bag, uh, so that you don't keep it compressed all the time, because what it does, it, it loses the loft of the uh, of the down. Um, we got YYK zippers, which those of you that know zippers, yeah, that's solid zippers. I like those. Um, it's got a nice foot box to it with a bunch of um, open loops so you can hang it up to dry. But there's not a whole lot of need for, for drying. I mean, there could be, depends on which, where you're using it, uh, because it's got a w, DWR, durable waterproof repellent uh, coating on it outside. This whole thing weighs about two pounds. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever had a bag that weighed that little. I've, had, I've got a couple of other bags that... They're just, uh, they got a little bit of weight to them. And this one's rated to 15 degrees. Uh, first night I slept with it, uh, it was 23. I think it was 23. Um, and I ended up coming out of the bag, uh, shucking off clothes because I was just hot. Uh, I run a little warm as it is. Um, second time I used it, uh, well, the night specifically, it's probably dropped down to somewhere in the neighborhood of about 28, 26. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the other thing, hold on, I'm gonna check my cheat sheet. Uh, two, yep, 20D, uh, 20 denier, a uh, ripstop nylon, and then the biggest part for me um, is if something were to happen to it, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. So uh, pretty solid. I'll put the link down below, but it's a it's a solid bag. I mean, it's, it's one of those that uh, I don't know that I would have uh, necessarily went out and purchased because I wasn't looking for one. Um, the last time I looked for a bag though, I did a comparison between down and synthetic fill. And the reality was is that the, the price difference made it to where I had to get the synthetic field. Um, this one, I think price is out at uh, like right at 160. Whereas uh, the one that I was looking at before that it's equal or comparable, if you will, uh, was somewhere in the neighborhood about 280. So. You're looking at about a hundred, hundred twenty dollars difference in it, so it's pretty solid. Um, I do like the fact it's got a neck baffle, um, so I can take and tighten it up around there. It's mummy style, so there's that. I, I prefer a mummy style. Some people don't. Um, and then the other part, I don't know if you, if you saw me pull my shirt off. I was actually tucking it up into. They've got a little pouch there for your pillow or uh, for like a piece of clothing or something. I always, always shuck off my upper outer shirt anyway. Uh, great place to put it in there. Um, they've got, um, I'm looking at the, the different ones, they've got different temperatures. Uh, limit 15 degrees, negative 10 Celsius. Transitions 30 degrees Fahrenheit, so I've been in the transition. Um, and then comfort, comfort is, you know, hey, it's comfortable, right? It's it's not, uh, you're not worrying about having to uh, double up or do anything else with it. It's just, it's but it's 50 degrees. So they set the different ratings on them. People know a lot more about the sleeping bag ratings than I do. Uh, I'm just giving you the stuff that I know, right? So the comfort rating is uh, at 50 degrees, uh, it's gonna be toasty. Um, I can unzip it and just kind of put it around me. Um, if I look at 30 degrees, it's gonna be nice and uh, nice and warm for me because again, I run, my body temperature runs warm, like really, really warm. Um, and then um, 15 degrees is you don't wanna get below that. And you also saw that I've got a pad up under it, so uh, I don't want to add to the uh, the coldness because of the, the ground. We're in Montana, so uh, yeah, nice and cold. You can hear the river running, and it's uh, it's chilly. I'll put it to you this way. It's chilly on my arms right now, um, so I'm fixing to head out and uh, talk to you then, right? So until then, use your instincts to survive. Thanks for watching.